Okay, so this is a simple analog example, analog input on the Raspberry Pi with our audio shield. Uh, we have a potentiometer here, uh, only one analog input in this case. Uh, I'm going to start turning it. You can hear that I have analog control over pure data. The information, as usual, is being sent through Python. These are the numbers. It's being routed to the pure data patch. These are the numbers being printed out through the pure data patch. It's affecting a frequency. It's creating a frequency modulation, as you can hear. And uh, the driver that we're using here, those buttons, are not important. We're not using those at all. Uh, I'm just using this potentiometer. It's being routed through this driver. It's an Adafruit ADS 1015 or 1015. Um, it's nice for the fact that it has an I2C communication protocol on it. Uh, it's using I2C and that means that we only use two wires. That is nice. Uh, it knocks down our connections. However, it's not as readily as available as other drivers as you some of you may or may not know, uh, Raspberry does not have analog digital converters included. Uh, you need to get an external driver. In this case, I'm using this one. Uh, there is also the MCP3008, but it's coronavirus time right now. I'm trapped at home. I don't have that on me right now, so I'm using this one. It's a little bit more expensive. It's nice, but it's not my favorite. I think it's more precise, but Hopefully in the future I'll be able to provide a, an example with a, an MCP 3008.